hi guys welcome back to my channel hope you're doing well today i'm good here uh today i'm going to teach you how to make this beautiful hairband uh, i'm on a task of using all my scrappy yarn and i'm choosing today to use these two colors orange and white uh, i'll need also a pair of scissors a crochet hook and i'm going to be using a 4.25 millimeter hook and a sewing needle okay to start our project, chain three. One, two, and three. Then slip stitch in the first chain space here. Okay. Chain one. And put 12 single crochets in this circle or you can all the magic circle one two three four Five, Then slip stitch in the first single crochet that you've made here. Okay. For our second round, we are joining your other color. I'm sure you chose two colors. Go ahead and join. Chain three, one, two, and three. Then put three treble crochets in the next stitch here. Is, that is one, two, three, chain three, one, two, and three, slip stitch in the next stitch here. Chain three, one, two, and three. Then put three treble crochets in the next stitch. Chain three, one, two, three, and slip stitch in the next stitch here. Chain three, 
one two three so that is we are working on the next petal treble crochet three times in the next stitch we put three treble crochet that's one two three chain three one two three and slip stitch in the next space right here in the next stitch so continue like that continue with what you've been doing up to here that means you have you have to make three more petals i meet you at the end i'm um, here finalizing with our last petal you chain three one two three and then make three treble crochets in the next space this is our first one this is our second and this is our third chain three one two three And then slip stitch in the next stitch space which is this one so without making any chain pull through your string but please leave a bit uh, quite a long string cut it off then grab your needle put in your string like that then you're going to sew this one join this part to this one in the first chain space here pull here and then sew in, sew in, down right here. And that joins our work perfectly. You can tie it with this one, the, the string at the back, the orange string at the back. First thing off. And then sew in the ends just like that just two times are enough cut off the strings so do the same with these other remaining strings, sew them in. Do the same with these other strings, apart from the white one that is longer. We are going to use it to join our hair band. You can pull this one to make it uh, tighten here to block this space if you don't mind it it's okay you cannot pull it you can choose not to pull it if you don't mind it first and off and then sew in the ends as well so this is how our flower looks like after sewing in this is the front and this is the back so at the back here we are going to join our hairband and to do that you just place it here and then go under it or over it here and start sewing just go right here a few times still go under it like this and sew in at this part here you don't you don't need to go very deep 
I'll do one more time. It has to come over the band. It has to pass over the band. That's it. And you're done. So fasten off. Fasten off and bury our yarn. Cut off the yarn. Cut off the string here and see how neat it looks. This is our hairband. Hope you like it. Please, if you do, go ahead and use all your scrap yarn and make these beautiful pieces. If you're selling them, they are good and they are good for adults and children. You can use it on your hair or your kids' hair. I'm going to use it for my baby's hairs. So, thank you for watching. Uh, God bless you. Go ahead and subscribe for more beautiful videos. I love you, but most of all, God does. Uh, ciao, ciao. See you next time.